Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Abdullah Zaki bin Zubaidi and I'm going to represent group 7 for our project presentation. So before we start our presentation, let me introduce our group members. The first one is Abu Hafizuddin bin Abu Daud. The second one is me, Abdullah Zaki bin Zubaidi. The third one is Nur Alia binti Abdul Razak. The fourth one is Nurul Fatimah binti Helmi. The last member is Siti Zudaika binti Jamil. So now we're going to talk about introduction. A trust is a structural framework which is all elements are primarily subjected to pure tension or compression force related to its construction and layout. A plane trust is one in which all the members are in one plane and the trust is loaded in that plane. A study is conducted out on an idealized the structure should meet the following requirement. First, member connection are made by frictionless hing or fins. Second, Member are straight and connected at their extremities only. Lastly, loads are acting at truss joint only. So we continue for problem statement. Every calculation and study require precision to prevent bad things from happening while construction is in progress. Therefore, students should design and construct a truss bridge using LinPro application and compare the result of calculation between LinPro which more accurate and low percentage of error. The main objective is to analyze and justify the design that has been selected. Also, before starting work, there are objectives that need to be followed. First, to obtain the basic idea of bridge building. Second, to understand various methods used in the design of the structural components of bridge and their limitation. Third, to determine the degree of determinacy of bridge, internal force, and reflection of the thrust. So that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Noala bin Jaabdurraza and my number matter is 21144. And it is my pleasure to explain about the chapter 2. This chapter describes the project introduction, the trusses chosen for this project, and the design proposals, the degree of indeterminacy, and an explanation of the surface of the bridge and surface heavy vehicles chosen to use in this project. So first thing first, we must determine the degree of indeterminacy which is total member of the truss is 21. Total reaction of this support is 3, meanwhile the total join is 12. So using the formula, M plus R equal to J, we got statically determinate. Next, based on the picture from the slide, the Warren truss has a span length of 24 meters, a height of 6 meters and a width of 3 meters. Based on the calculation, the Warren truss with the point for joint A and E is 385.36 kN and joint B and C and D is 770.72 km and the reaction for A, Y and E, Y is equal to 1541.44 kN. Next, we're moving on to the next slide which is still in chapter 2. In order to find the average main body weight and the, the average light due to truck class 2A based on the slide, we must add up these two average and we must divide by 1024 which is our total of length span to get 2.713 kN. And to find the safe weight for the bridge, we must use the fuller formula adding up with the UDL safety factor and after that we have to adding up with the self weight that we already find earlier which is 2.713 kN per meter and in order to find point load for join A and E we must using the formula which is 128.453 kN Multiply with length of every span, which is 6 meter over 2, we got 385.36 kN. And for the point load for joint B and C and D, using the same formula, but have to multiply by 2 to find the point load, which is 770.72 kN. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. My name is Nurul Fatima binti Helmi with number matrix DF 21115. So I'll be presenting for the chapter 3 which is methodology. There are two types 
of method that it is used in this project. One is alternative method. Alternative method is used in this project for the calculation of internal forces for each member of beach trusses. This method also used for the calculation of the deflection. The second method is Lean Pro software. The bridge will be designed in the Lean Pro software with the applied load. The software will run the design to produce the output which are internal forces and deflection. This program can handle a variety of loads and is quite adaptable when it comes to constructing structures and it also contains practically all the tools required for the linear static analysis of plan frames. LinPro performs a linear time history analysis in order to assess the structure dynamic reaction. These are the flowchart in the chapter 3 for the calculation of the design bridge. Step 1. Choose the design of bridge. Step 2. Determine the degree determinacy of the bridge. Step 3. Determine the stability of the bridge. Step 4. Design the bridge in software Lean Pro. Step 5. Calculate the load and life load for the bridge. Step 6. Calculate internal forces using alternative method and deflection of the bridge manually. Step 7. Assign support and apply load to the design bridge in Lean Pro. Next, run the design using Lean Pro for internal forces and deflection of the bridge. Compare the internal forces and deflection between both methods. After that, calculate the percentage error for internal forces and deflection of the bridge. And the last step is calculate the percentage error and the percentage error must be below 10%. This slide shows the step 1 and step 2 for manual method which is alternative method. For step 1, apply the uniform distributed load which is 1 to 8.453 kN. And the second step is Find the reaction at support A and support E. Reaction at support A is 1541.44 kN and point E also 1541.44 kN. The uniform distributed load will be converted to the point load and will be distributed equally. So one join will be applied with 770.72 kN. Assalamualaikum. My name is Abu Hafizuddin bin Abu Daud. I will continue presenting for the manual method. Step 3 is we start to calculate the force, the internal force using alternative method as we learned in class. The internal force for all members is calculated. There are at least 3 zero force member in this structure. Next, for the, for the step 4, we substitute the load with one unit load. Then we repeat the same method to calculate the internal force. After that, by using this formula, we can calculate the deflection and the answer that we got is 0 0.00439. Next, we can check the value of our manual calculation using LIMPRO. We just need to put the value of load on the design bridge in LIMPRO then uh, we run the program. For the step 1 is we can get the value of reaction at joint A and E. Then we check the value of internal force and we got the close answer for all members. After that, for step 3, we can check our internal force using one unit load and we got the same answer with manual method. Step 4, we can get the value of deflection using LIMPRO. But there is a little bit difference between manual and LIMPRO. Lastly, by using this formula, we can calculate the percentage of error for internal force and deflection. The percentage error for internal force is 0.0745% while for deflection is 5.5914%. That's all for the calculation. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi. 
I am Siti Seleka binti Jamil as the last presenter and will talk about the chapter 4 of this project which consists of the summary and the conclusion of the project. To summarize this whole project, wherein Trust Bridge has been chosen as bridge design and we have figured out that this design is statically determinate and stable. Furthermore, the calculation has been done manually and also by using the chosen software, which is Lin Pro Apps. By using the formula, the highest deflection that the bridge can support is at 0.00439 meter. Next, for the percentage error, the difference for internal forces between using manual calculation and using the apps is only 0.07%. Meanwhile, the percentage error for the deflection is 5.6%. All values under 10% are acceptable. We can also sum up that the safety that has been designed for the bridge is in a safe state to construct. Last but not least, the conclusion. Firstly, by attending this project, students would have their own experience on designing the bridge itself. Moreover, it can also be concluded that proper analysis will create a good and robust structure. This kind of project also managed to enable students to explore and understand the internal strength analysis of trust and trust bridge deflection after completing this project. That's all from me and the rest of the group. Thank you.